A seven inch knife. A 27 year old man by the name of John Agnesini nearly slashed the side of his mouth when he discovered a seven inch serrated blade baked into his footlong sub. After purchasing the footlong sub from Subway, Agnesini returned to his workstation and chomped away through half of the sub before biting into something unusually hard. What he had bitten into was the handle of a partially melted knife. However, Fortunately for him, he didn't swallow any of it. Agnesini commented about the incident, saying, After taking a few bites, I could tell something didn't taste right. Then, I felt something hard at the bottom of the bread. I turned it over, and I could see a knife baked inside. It's shocking. Hours after eating, Agnesini fell very ill, suffering from food poisoning, most likely from the contaminated blade in his food. Maybe the company that markets itself under the slogan Eat Fresh should rename it to Eat Flesh. And I think we can all agree that the person who made this mistake wasn't exactly the sharpest tool on the set. <laughs> this is great banter. It really is. Number four. Thawed frog. A thawed frog was found dead with his mouth slightly open at the top of a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. Marty Hoffman, who found the frog, purchased the bag of vegetables from a local store in order to feed her dog who suffered from a skin condition, and so was on a very special vegetable diet. As she opened the bag, she leapt to her feet, pun intended, in shock of discovering a thawed frog amongst the vegetables. The local store where Hoffman purchased the frozen bag of vegetables from provided coupons in order to compensate the unexpected discovery. Let's just hope that this stopped her from being hopping mad about the whole situation. Number three, Dead Mouse. Whilst of course we're not talking about Dead Mouse the musician, there have been many cases of dead mice being found in food, such as the case where a mouse was found baked into a loaf of bread. However, what is about to follow next is quite a bit out of the ordinary. A nursery worker from Cornwall was stunned to find a dead mouse in a jar of tikka masala sauce, which he'd bought from a local Asda store. The nursery worker was preparing a meal for two between herself and her boyfriend, when she noticed the sauce was a bit more lumpy than usual. As she emptied the rest of the jar, the masala-coated dead mouse plopped out. She immediately returned the sauce along with the dead mouse to her local Asda store, who were very apologetic about the whole situation. Needless to say, we are pretty confident that she won't be returning anytime soon to buy some more tikka masala sauce. Number 2. Severed Finger A man from North Carolina by the name of Clarence Stowers purchased a pint of frozen custard from Cole's Frozen Custard Shop, and to his horror discovered a severed human fingertip. Believing it was candy, Stowers put the severed finger into his mouth and began to chew as you do. However, upon realising that this ain't no nut, as he later reported, he spat it out and started screaming. After an investigation, it was discovered that one of the workers from Cole's Frozen Custard Shop lost part of his finger in an accident with a food processing machine, after trying to catch a bucket that he dropped into the machine. Now there's going to be some way of stopping it from happening again. Hmm, I just can't quite put my finger on it. Number 1. Deep Fried Chicken's Head Na 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 na, I'm loving it. That's what an experience from McDonald's should be. However, a mother from America received an unhappy meal from McDonald's when she found a whole deep fried chicken's head. It was thanks to her 8-year-old son who stopped her from eating the chicken's head. As she was about to take a bite out of the piece of chicken without looking, the 8-year-old son yelled not to eat it. Upon closer inspection, a beak, eyes and comb that resembled a chicken was observed. It is unclear exactly how the head ended up in the meal, but at least we know that McDonald's is using 100% real chicken meat. The American mother reportedly was offered a refund and a substitute order of chicken. However, she turned it down. I can't blame her. Instead, she pressed charges and demanded $100,000 in compensation. I'm sure that the manager was running around like a headless chicken when he heard the news. 